that the earth hasn't always looked the same, millions of years ago the earth looked very different. And not just because of dinosaurs. The actual land was in a different place, and it's still moving around today. This is called plate tectonics. See, the crust of the earth is not solid. It's broken into large pieces called plates. These plates float around on top of the molten rock that makes up the mantle. Convection currents, or the movement of the fluids within the mantle due to temperature, cause the plates on the surface to move around and interact with each other in different ways. There are three types of tectonic boundaries. In divergent boundaries, plates are moving apart from each other. Rift zones and undersea ridges form as molten rock rises from the mantle into the spreading zone to cool and become new continental crust. Plates that are passing by each other form transform plate boundaries. Where plates come together, the tectonic boundary is called convergent, and one of two things can happen. Subduction zones form when thinner oceanic crust meets and drops beneath the thicker continental crust, where it melts and begins the cycle again. When continental crust meets continental crust, they crumple and are uplifted into massive mountains. You can model these types of tectonic movements for yourself in the lab. To make our very delicious model of the Earth's tectonic plates, first we need a mantle. Use something gooey, like frosting or peanut butter, which is what I'm using. Spread it around to make a nice thick layer. Next, Grab a graham cracker and break it into pieces. These will be your plates. Once you have your plates, put set them on your mantle. Have fun moving your plates around on your mantle. You can experiment with the different types of boundaries we discussed. Divergent, transform, and convergent. Normally, we don't get to eat what we play with in the lab, but this is a delicious exception. Take a big old bite. These movements of the Earth's crust means that the continents have been on major journeys, even sometimes joining up with other land masses to create supercontinents like Pangaea or Gondwana before splitting back up again. The landmass that currently houses the continents of Asia, Africa, and Europe is not considered a supercontinent because too much continental crust exists in other land masses, but it's the closest thing we have. Many models exist for what the Earth might look like in another several million years, but unfortunately, we won't get to find out who got it right. If you have a question you'd like answer or suggestion for a future video, send it to askthescienceKid at gmail.com and make sure to follow along with Ask the Science Kid for more fun facts and answers to good science.